welcome to today's episode of Takeout Tuesday. We're here at Mixed Food Hall in Brentwood, Maryland to check out Spice Kitchen. The owner Olu's mission is to increase access to West African cuisine. So let's go give them a try. Thank you so much for having us here. We are at Spice Kitchen yes, West African yes, Grill. Yes, yes. I'm super excited. Thank you. I need to know the story. What's the story of Spice Kitchen? So basically, I had a lot of experience working in the fast casual industry, and I'm West African, I'm Nigerian. So I wanted to be able to like combine my experience in the fast casual space with my Nigerian culture and be able to mix them up. And Spice Kitchen was born. So. That's amazing. So you just jumped to owning a restaurant. You're only 26 years old, correct? Yes. That's yes, impressive. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. But this is not necessarily where Spice Kitchen started. Where did Spice Kitchen start? So we were actually a ghost kitchen in DC. Mm -hmm. um, we were, in 2020, we opened up and we were there for about a year before transitioning to the food hall, mixed food hall. And if you had to describe your brand, what is Spice Kitchen? What do you guys stand for? What is your purpose other than feeding the masses your delicious food? Um, one of my biggest things is that I kind of want to be able to like show people how much connected we are, especially like black folks, like just being able to show how our cultures are very similar. A lot of times um, there's a, they're not the best connotation surrounding African food in terms of like presentation or like its palatability. And we wanted to kind of like change that, right? We wanted people to be able to look at our menu and be able to see like, I can eat that, you know, like I know what that is, you know, by also still having those West African flavors. So West, we really want to be able to make it so that everybody has access to West African food. So what are you giving me access to today? What are we trying? Yeah, so we got these um, spicy, spice honey wings, which basically has our spice honey sauce and sprinkled with our suya spice, which is kind of like the main spice that we use in Spice Kitchen, which is a very popular West African nut-based spice that typically is like put on meats and served as like a street food. But well, we took that same concept and put it with salmon, chicken, shrimp, a whole bunch of different proteins that most people are already familiar with. But we focus on nailing down the spice and nailing down those flavors so that people can get a feel for what it is that we're actually trying to do here. That's beautiful. Thank well, you. you've convinced me. I'm hungry. Yeah, let's yeah, let's yeah. eat. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> let's get it. Oh, yeah, this is the fancy suya spice you were telling me about. Yes, yes. And what makes this special? Um, so it's a nut base, really. It's like, so we actually get our suya shipped from Nigeria oh. over here. Okay. And then we basically mix some of our other spices in-house, blend it all up, and then boom, we got our version. Now, is it spicy? Is it mild? So all of the suya spice that we sell initially is mild, right? But we have the option to be able to increase the heat for people who want it like, some real traditional heat and I got you, but this is for you. I got you with the regular degler, you know what I mean? I got you, I got you. Don't even worry about it, don't even worry about it. I got you. So you got the spice honey wings with the suya spice on top. And then you have a half steak, half shrimp plate with jollof rice and plantains. And in the middle, you have our stew, mm -hmm. basically that we serve with all of our plates so that people can kind of get a more, feel something to kind of, people like, 
to be able to dip their food and stuff sometimes. So what would you recommend I dip in the stew? Quite honestly, it's whatever you want. Like I honestly, when I eat it, some people like to put their stew on their jollof rice. They like mm -hmm. to dip like their proteins in there. So it just so depends. Good. Believe it or not, this is my first time having jollof rice, so I'm very excited. Hey, that's all right. Mm, that is good. I know. <laughs> as you should, as you should. So why was it important that you bring this kind of access to this, frankly, very tasty food to Prince George's County? Um, just going back to the point where I really wanted to create access for anybody to eat West African food to be able to have access to tasting the flavors and for people to really know, like all of our foods are really similar, right? Mm -hmm. So that's one of my biggest things. And I'm from Prince George's County, so it makes sense, right? This is amazing. So your mission is working. This is the first time I've, I've had plantains, jollof rice. I'm really excited to say, try the suya spice. If you had to try to convince someone to come try Spice Kitchen for the first time, what would you tell them? About the vibe, about the food, whatever? Yeah, I would tell them that it's we're open for everybody, right? We want any and everybody to be able to kind of get a feel for what we got going on. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I'm listening. <laughs> <laughs> Just to be able to taste our food. We all are real young. We have a good vibe, a good energy to us. And we just kind of want to be able to be the national brand for West African food one day. I think you're well on your way because yeah, as someone who is not a big fan of spicy, there's just enough spice in all of this for flavor and not to make it pink. This is great. I love it. Thank you so much for sharing this with me, with your culture, with your experience. I do have one last question for you. What's up with the newspaper? <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> so traditionally, like Suya in West Africa is served on um, newspaper, right? So mm -hmm. we kind of wanted to pay homage to that aesthetic by being able to create, like we had parchment safe paper that has a newspaper print on it they kind of be able to give the vibe of eating real suya on a real newspaper without the hygienics of it you know this is amazing i'm gonna finish this you can go back to work thank you so You're much very, for very sharing well. this thank you so me. much for coming out thank you for joining us on today's episode of takeout tuesday I hope you heard or saw something that inspires you to come out and try Spice Kitchen for yourself. For every plate that's sold, another one gets donated to the community. So be safe, be proud, and buy Prince George's.